In this problem, a couple moment m is applied to a disc um, that is able to rotate, and this moment depends on the angle theta. Uh, and we're asked to find the work um, by this moment after four whole rotations. Uh, and we're also asked what would the sign of the work be if the moment was applied in the opposite direction. Uh, so this is it may seem complicated, but it's not too complicated. Um, so the work um, for a normal force is just the force times the distance or the integral of force in dx, or the displacement. Um, with a moment, it's the integral of m moment in d theta. Um, so we have du being the infinitesimal amount of work um, is equal to m d theta. Okay, and so if we want to add up all of the work, we have u is going to be equal to the integral of m d theta. Okay, so in our case, we're given m in terms of theta, so that's easy. We just have to integrate between um, a set of bounds. So we start at theta equals to zero, and we said four rotations. So four rotations is four times two pi. 2 pi is 1 rotation, 4 is 4 rotations. Okay, then we plug in m, which is, in our case, uh, theta squared plus 2 theta plus 2, um, and then d theta. So we're integrating this whole thing in terms of d theta. So if we do that, uh, we get the following. Um, so we get 1 third theta cubed, we, um, this becomes a 3, and the 3 comes down into the denominator, 1 third theta cubed plus uh, theta squared. The uh, 2 that comes down gets cancelled by this 2 over here. And then the last one becomes 2 theta plus 2 theta. And this is evaluated from 0, and then 4 times 2 is 8 pi. Okay? And then we can go ahead and evaluate this. Um, so the way you would evaluate this is, since um, this is 0, you just plug in 8 pi into each of these thetas, evaluate, and you get that u is equal to 5,973.7 joules. And this is our final answer for the work done by this um, couple at this moment. Okay, now the question also asks what would happen if the moment were applied in the opposite direction? Um, so in this case, in the opposite direction, the moment would still give the same positive work um, because it doesn't, the sign of the work essentially determines whether you're putting work into the system or taking work out of the system. If you make everything rotate in the opposite direction, you're still adding work to the system. You're not removing work. Okay? Um, so that's why it would just spin in the opposite direction, but nothing would change. Um, you're still adding work into the system. So that's why the sign would still be positive if you spin the whole system in the opposite direction. Okay? Now, if the system provided work out of the system, uh, spinning backwards, let's say, then that would be negative. But in this case, you're just spinning in the opposite direction. The, the, the directionality of the work with respect to the system is still the same, so it'd still be positive. Okay, so I'll write that down. If moment uh, or applied uh, in opposite direction, we would see, um, still, would still be positive. And this is our other final answer.